Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title. And I'm so glad that you join me for the Lord's Word of God today. And we know that all things happen for a reason. And that is to show us that God is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the one that is and was and is to come. And there is no other master of the universe. Amen? Amen. And so today's study is on the Antichrist. And so we're going to learn about the Antichrist today. And so if you brought your Bibles, please turn with me to the book of 1 John chapter 2. And we'll start reading verse 18. Little children, this is the last hour. And as you have heard, the Antichrist is coming. Even now, many Antichrists have come, by which we know that it is the last hour. Who is a liar? But he who denies that Jesus is the Christ. He is Antichrist who denies the Father and the Son. So now, in the first verse that we read, the Apostle says it's the last hour. And that was approximately 2,000 years ago, brothers and sisters. Now we're in the last minute. Amen? Amen. So now turn with me to the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 2. In verse 1, it reads, Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together with him, that no one deceive you by any means. That day will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sits as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. So now it starts off here telling us that Jesus is not coming for his church until the man of sin is revealed, who is going to sit as God in the temple of God. This is a warning to God's people of the man who is coming to the world to save God's people is an imposter. An imposter is someone who pretends to be someone else to deceive others. Turn over to Daniel chapter 9 and read more about the Antichrist, starting in verse 26. And after 62 weeks, Messiah shall be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince who is to come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary. The end of it shall be with a flood until the end of the war. Desolation are determined. Then he shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wings of abomination shall be one who makes desolate, even until the consummation, which is determined, is poured out on the desolate. And here it says that there will be war, and he will make a covenant, which is a peace agreement. So the Antichrist is a peacemaker, one that you do not expect to be the Antichrist. He is of Jewish descent, very intelligent. Longevity is on his side. But he has one problem. He was not born in the city of David, Bethlehem. So turn with me to the book of Micah, chapter 5. I'm reading verse 2. But you, Bethlehem, Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me, the one to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth are of old, from everlasting. Therefore he shall give them up until the time that she who is in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return to the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall abide, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Amen. Amen. That's Yeshua. Amen. Amen. So, Let's turn to the New Testament on the same subject, Matthew chapter 2, reading verse 1. Now, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. And when Herod the king had heard this, he was troubled, and all of Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and the scribes and the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, But you, Bethlehem in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler 
who will shepherd my people Israel. Amen. Amen. So we know it's Yeshua and no one else, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. The key here is the Messiah, the Christ, must be born in Bethlehem, where Mary bore a child and named him Jesus, where the wise man followed a star and came bringing gifts of gold and other things. For in Matthew 24, it reads, Then if anyone says to you, Look, here is the Christ, or there, do not believe it. For as the lightning comes from the east and flashes to the west, so also will the Son of Man be. So do not be deceived, brothers and sisters, if someone says that he's over here or over there. No. And especially in Israel. Amen? Amen. And so last, turn with me to the book of Revelation chapter 14. We'll start reading verse 9. Then a third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone who worships the beast in his image and receives his mark on his forehead or on his hand, he himself shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out in full strength into the cup of his indignation. He shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascends forever and ever, and they have no rest day or night. We all must be tested in our faith in Jesus. This is not just for the 144,000 Jews that are to be saved, but are for the people who are saved today. Because we are in the last age, the last minute. Remember, war has to come before peace, and war has already started. So this is good that you understand, to be ready and to warn your friends and family not to be deceived of this man, because he is just a man. People are going to think great of him, but do not be deceived. The truth will set you free. So keep on track and keep the faith and continue carrying the cross given to you by taking Christ as your master, your teacher, your example. Believe his doctrine and obey him and we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen? Amen.